Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to share some tips about the cruise port of Aqaba, Jordan. So you have a few options there for your shore excursions mm -hmm. and the most popular option, which is the one that we did, is uh, going to Wadi Rum, but also going to Petra. Um, so we did both of those in one day, mm -hmm. which is a pretty long day. <laughs> and uh, you know you could try to DIY this. This is one of those places where we don't really recommend that. It is not uh, easy to get around, mm -hmm. not easy to get your own transportation. No. We just did, uh, even though it's pretty expensive to do this with the ship, we went ahead and did this mm -hmm. with the ship because the timetable was very tight. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we needed to get back on time. It was just something we didn't feel comfortable mm -hmm. doing. So we went ahead and did this through the mm -hmm. ship and it was a great experience. Yes. Um, starting with Petra. Yeah, so um, Petra, it's, as most people know, it is one of the seven uh, wonders of the world and it is getting more and more popular. It's uh, in the town in the city of Wadi Musa. And so the town has been kind of uh, you know, overrun of sorts with tourists trying to go in and um, see Petra, but it's you could tell that the popularity is is mm -hmm. like on the rise by how many people were there. So many because there were several cruise ships that came in after we were already on the bus headed out um, to our tour, and a couple more ships came in, and we saw them later in the day at Petra. And honestly, our our tour guide did us a great favor by taking us as early as he did. He said, I'm mm. going to take you there first and we'll do Wadi Rum second because he said once the other, you know, cruise ships bring their tours as well, it's going to be way too crowded yeah. to enjoy it. And boy, was he right. Yeah, we got to Petra pretty early. Mm -hmm. uh, we kept our, our stop. You know, on the way, there's a little breakfast very stop. Short. Very short. Mm -hmm. And we got there, basically when you get to Petra, there is a walk downhill into the valley mm -hmm. of roughly a mile, mm -hmm. um, and it's not a bad walk. But if you if you have trouble walking, they do have um, you know donkeys that will take you down. Mm -hmm. They do carriage have rides, carriage and rides. they also have a golf cart too. Yeah, an and a cart. golf cart. And they and then the your guide will actually walk through and kind of explain stuff. But he's going to be walking at a slower pace mm -hmm. as slow as the slowest person in this group so he yeah. told us if you can walk faster than most people in this group which definitely was the case <laughs> in our group yeah. um, he told us just to go ahead anyone mm -hmm. that wanted to um so we just kind of whizzed down the hill mm -hmm. and you know got down there in 20 minutes and had tons of time to look mm -hmm. around and take pictures before it got crowded yeah and also i think the key uh, if you do want to go down and see Petra, which why wouldn't you if you're already there, but making that walk would be too difficult, which by the way, is it, it's downhill and you think, oh, it's going to be easy, just zip right down, but uh, it, it's also on a very slick surface, mm -hmm. so, and you have to also dodge the carriages and all of the donkey and horse poo. <laughs> as you're walking down so you're not just gonna run down there quickly um, but if you do need assistance and you want to go down there your tour guide if you have a tour guide they'll be able to reserve a carriage or an electric car for you yeah. it is an extra charge on top of your tour but if you can't walk down there it will be the only way that you can see it and you've already come that far so yeah. why not go down and see yeah. it so while we were on the bus he was asking who mm -hmm. wanted uh, a carriage or a car and he mm -hmm. called ahead mm -hmm. and got that for them yep. so it was waiting for them when they got mm -hmm. there because otherwise you have to sit in line and wait for one to empty up yeah. for you to be able to ride it down so after we took our time down in Petra we walked back up uh, had lunch in the hotel mm -hmm. yep. um, which was a good lunch and, and then, they had arranged for us and they drove us on to Wadi Rum mm -hmm. uh, and it was a little bit of a distance to get there and we were happy to rest after the hike down and back <laughs> up. Uh, but Wadi Rum was amazing. They took us in, uh, basically they were pickup trucks mm -hmm. and you rode in the back of a pickup truck uh, with little benches in them. Mm -hmm. And they took you through a little driving tour of Wadi Rum and they don't go fast. 
So it, they kind of make it sound like it's going to be this, you know, wild <laughs> Wild ride. adventure in the, you know, they, in the wilderness. They're going maybe 15, 20 miles an hour. They're not going <laughs> like 50 miles an hour or something like that. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty nice and pretty, pretty fun. Uh, and then you get out to a Bedouin camp and you get to uh, have dinner and just mm -hmm. see how they cook their food and, mm -hmm. and, and meet and talk with all them. And that was a great yeah. experience as well. Yeah, that was great. That was actually amazing because part of the presentation is, you know, them cooking the food in the same manner that the Bedouins would cook their food, um, which was really amazing to yeah. watch the whole process and, you know, the digging up of the food. They cook the, the food in the sand in order to keep the sand out of the food, which is really wild. <laughs> yeah, so after that, uh, you, you pile back into the tour bus and back to the ship, and that's a pretty long day. And then, we, you know, we got back <laughs> right before the ship was leaving, um, so I would not want wanted to mm -hmm. have done that without... That'd be so stressful. ...without the yeah. ship tour, um, but really just an amazing uh, day, one of our favorite days yes. of our cruise, and totally recommend it. If you're wondering mm -hmm. whether you should do it, Definitely. you're not going to get to that area often. Um, so definitely just take the time, spend the money, and mm -hmm. and, and do that short excursion. Yeah. Uh, we hope this has been helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next video.